Hello! Today, we'll be showing you how to replace the motherboard in a Samsung XE500 C12 Chromebook. First, you will need a few tools. An anti-static mat is recommended to avoid electrostatic discharge which can damage electronic parts. A small, magnetic tip Phillips head screwdriver will be necessary for this replacement. A spudger will also come in handy for this replacement. You can use either plastic or metal, whichever you prefer. You might also want to have a pair of tweezers handy as they may be useful in handling small parts. The first step will be to remove the nine bottom cover screws. Next, you will use your spudger to carefully pry and remove the bottom cover. Now, you will remove the four battery screws. Next, you will disconnect the battery cable from the motherboard and remove the battery. Now, you will disconnect the keyboard cable from the motherboard. Next, you will disconnect the touchpad cable from the motherboard. Now, you will disconnect the motherboard to daughterboard cable from the motherboard. Next, you will disconnect the LCD cable from the motherboard. Next, you will disconnect the motherboard speaker cable from the motherboard. Next, you will remove the seven motherboard screws. While you're removing the motherboard screws, you will also remove the metal bracket above the HDMI and USB ports. To remove the final motherboard screw, you will first need to remove a small plastic screw cover. Now, you will remove the motherboard. The first step in the installation of your replacement motherboard will be to set it into place and replace the seven motherboard screws.
Be sure to replace the metal bracket above the HDMI and USB ports before replacing the screws on the left side of the motherboard. Remember to replace the plastic screw cover after replacing the motherboard screw in the bottom center. Now, you will reconnect the LCD cable to the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the motherboard to daughterboard cable to the motherboard. Now, you will reconnect the touchpad cable to the motherboard. Next, you will reconnect the keyboard cable to the motherboard. Now, you will reconnect the motherboard speaker cable to the motherboard. Next, you will set the battery into place and replace the four battery screws. Now, you will reconnect the battery cable to the motherboard. Next, you will snap the bottom cover back into place. The final step will be to replace the nine bottom cover screws. You have now successfully replaced the motherboard in your Samsung Chromebook. Nice job!